What's that? Master Willem, I've come to bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me. No, but you will never listen. I tell you, I will not forget our adage. We are born of the blood. Made men by the blood. Undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. I must take my leave. Was this dude then? Some high ranking minister or something? Fucking good shit! I am happy with that. Definitely. One shot, one kill. Not quite 100% legit, seems as though I did fight her on the. The last run. But only that one time. And she did kick me ass for a bit. So I'm happy with that. Very, very happy. So now I'll shoot back to the Hunter's Dream. I guess get a level or two? Yeah. But yeah, good fight, Amelia. Good fight. Cool looking boss. Not very difficult though, like once you're in practice with the game and stuff and yeah I mean parrying, if I'd have gone for a like heavy parry attempt on it I suspect I'd have probably have died. Give it an attempt to begin with and then it didn't quite work out so it's like yeah, okay you know what let's just try see what we can do and see if there is a spot and she just got circled around what can you do? The eye of a blood drunk hunter beckons hunters to the hunter's nightmare. A deformed creature will whisk you away outside Odin Chapel. Oh, there's actually a hint for that. I have a blood drunk hunter. Did I need the eye before I could even go there? Gold pendant. Pendant of Vicar Amelia, used to change into a blood gem which fortifies weapons. This pendant passed down among the vicars who head the healing church is a reminder of the cautionary adage to reveal the adage touch the altar skull. Fear the old blood. Fear the old blood in my fucking guy, man. He's doing alright. There we go. Eye of the blood drunk hunter. Holy shit. Um, the eye of a blood drunk hunter. Its pupil is collapsed and turned to mush, indicating the onset of the scourge of beasts. A hunter who goes drunk with blood is said to be taken by the nightmare, destined to wander forever, engaged in an endless hunt. It is a fate that no hunter can escape. You fool. Oh, it was only blood bullets, it's alright. Still don't have a tool to use this yet? Fuck me. Nope. Nope. Used to turn... It was saying that you could turn the pendant into a fucking... A blood gem or some shit, but... I don't know how you do that yet. Anything new to buy since I beat Amelia? Nope, but the price of blood vials just skyrocketed. It went up like 50 fucking percent. And 240 to 320, 60, 80... That went up a little bit as well. 33% or something. Maybe they go up 33% or something, I don't know, but... No new weapons. No new... Yep, no new weapons, no new gear. Huh. Well, let's get some levels first, and then we'll see where we're at. Very well, then. Uh, what we're doing... What, what's hit points like now? Oh, we can get two levels, and I could probably get a third one. So, 793. 
and we're going up 21, 28, and then we're going up another 28. So we're getting 28 points a time. Could be useful. Or more endurance. That is not adding up to an awful lot at this point. It does increase your slow poison resistance, though. Which ain't bad. And your physical defense. Well, that goes up with level anywhere. Yeah. Pretty good how endurance increases your poison resist as well, you know. You can endure more. Ah, man. Getting three points of damage off that. Three. Three each level. I could get three endurance. Well, two and then three. In fact, let me... No, 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 no. Farewell, mate. Let me use the smallest... Cold blood. Smallest being fifteen fucking hundred, but you know. Welcome, what it very well. Just curious something about the endurance. Two, three, two. Sweet spot level. You get in two a time, but that's a sweet spot level of getting three. I think I'll get the three. Should I get more hit points? Kind of I don't know, maybe I should get more hit points. Or should I get more damage? Damage is pretty fucking useful. Don't need to stun lock them quite as much because you just kill them. But the vitality allows me to stay alive a lot more. No, 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 no. Uh, hmm. I just don't know about my weapons and the scale in properly. So... I, you know, obviously, with first time, if it was, this was like Souls or something like that, I'd, I'd kind of have an idea. It's like, yeah, okay, I don't want to have any points of strength. I'm just going to go like Raw Enchantment. I fucking love that. <laughs> raw Enchantment's go awesome. Or, yeah, I will pump it up. I just don't know how many more levels. Like, if I start going, okay, right, I'll leave me endurance and I'll just pump strength from now on. Like, I don't know how many more levels I'm going to get out of that to make it worthwhile. I mean, is it going to take another, like, 10 fucking levels to get, like, 10 or 15% more damage? Which isn't to be scoffed at, especially on a boss. But would the endurance work out better for me just being able to fucking dodge more? I mean, I'm sorry, just bear with me a second. Let's just say I did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... You're getting about 11. Welcome. What? Very well. So you're getting about 11 out of 110 stamina. So I'm going to go under the rough assumption that one backdash is 10 stamina. So adding something like that is giving you one extra backdash. Now it's not going to be like one extra attack. I think rolls use more stamina and shit, but still. Three points of that's almost giving me one extra backdash. Four points would probably do it. So for every four levels, I'm getting an extra backdash. Hmm. Or I can increase mate points by a pretty decent chunk. That's pretty much just over um, 10%. So it seems like I can get about 10% extra hit points. Or I could get an almost 12th roll. I can get 11 rolls. I can almost get a 12th. So they're not far off. But I don't think putting 3 points into that is increasing my damage by 10%. But it's a bit different. In fact, no, it's nowhere near 10%. Um, no, 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 I'm going to leave my damage for the moment. I'm going to leave my damage for the moment, so I'm, I, it's, it's between vitality, extra hit points. I might take my hit points up to about a thousand, and then I'll park it, and then I'll take my endurance up. As, yeah, I'm going to take some more hit points for the moment. Farewell. I mean, endurance might get me out of the way, so I don't need to use an elf vial. Might get the extra attacking, so I don't need to use out. The extra damage might cause someone to die and stuff, but... Generally, if I'm going to get hit, I'm going to get hit regardless of my damage. 
It's not like that extra one hit stopped me from taking damage in the end, so... I don't know, I think there's an argument for... I don't... I don't know. I think there's an argument to be made for increasing my damage, increasing my health, or increasing my endurance, though. Did I do the same thing again? Please tell me I went to Cathedral Ward. Please tell me I didn't go back to fucking old Yarnum. I'm not sure. As I say, I'll take my hit points to about a thousand, park it, I'll get some more endurance, maybe up to about 150 endurance. And I'll probably just put points into strength there and get whatever damage I can do at that point. Nice. Yeah. Thousand hit points, 150 endurance, arbitrary numbers, I don't even fucking know. And then I shall take some strength and see, um, shit. Well, he was pretty easy to deal with other than getting hit. Do your fucking steak stuff. Ooh, I'm surprised I didn't get hit by that. There we go. They're not dropping fucking items now! I wanna fucking bother tackling if I'd have known that. Where am I going exactly? Oh yeah, I wanna get bagged up. Damn, you're a big motherfucker, man. Not affected by, um... Holy shit. You see, you can roll around and stuff like that, and sometimes you're best off doing... Well, not right then, but sometimes you're best off just fucking strafing. You're a tough bastard, aren't you? Should have been a... I was going to say no items! A bloodstone shard? Oh, the... yeah, the first ones. Yeah, he should have been really taken down with, um, Le Kirk. Yeah, I know you see me. I don't know who won that. Me. Holy shit, I have just remembered what made the Kirk so badass in two-handed mode. That if you can get him with the charged attack, it grounds him. It's a full-on crumple. Oh, 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 oh. And up his bum for the finish, why not? Oh my god. Did I have... Did I just have, like, one hit of armor there? When I was charging that up? I think he hit me. And it armored it, so I didn't get knocked out of the attack. There's a lot of extra mechanics and stuff that I've never picked up on before. Or I don't, I don't remember mentioning about it, anyway. Sorry, Pooch. You would have gone for me. Fit cold blood? I'm not complaining. In fact, I probably could have crushed all my cold blood and got another level, but... Don't worry, I've not forgotten. I've not forgotten. I'm, I am off to get bagged. There was a hunter around here, man. I swear to God. It's not going to close it, is it? Why? Um, okay, guess one in range. Just in case. I mean, it makes sense that you can operate the lever both times, open and close the gate, but... Shh. 
should have probably dealt with them actually, because I need to get bagged. Chill out, crow. I'll deal with you. Right, is anybody else aggroed? No. Now, how is this done exactly? Do I just try to get him into a... Wait, what are you doing? Was that right? <laughs> that didn't feel very right. That felt somewhat wrong. Uh, wasn't there a bagging animation before? I, I can't remember. I don't think running up to him and just dying was probably the right way of doing it. Maybe as an animation that I need to get hit by. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Forget me. Take a drink, Liam, and shut the fuck up. Big old sipper, shut the fuck up. Oh, I completely forgot. There's a boss at the end of this. Yeah. Some big ass lightning puppy with an awesome NPC that helps you out. The guy whose name I should never forget, but did. <laughs> Such a dick. Right, Nobby. Yahargul, the unseen village. Not the unseen valley from before. I think it mentioned something about an unseen valley. Anyway, there's a door locked. I think it was something to do with the unseen valley and a key or something like that. But yeah, the prison. There's a cool NPC somewhere and a cool boss at the end. Like I say, it, it seems like Madman Toil surreptitiously in rituals to beckon the moon. Uncover their secrets. But yeah, it seems like um, there's this boss and the witches that use kind of like sound to figure out where they are and shit. And, um, then we're into fucking pastures new. I'm well surprised Amelia went down in one. I mean, I was feeling confident about it. I had all my saw cleaver here and some parry practice and I was feeling confident about it, but still. Not quite one shot confident. Especially considering, blood, even not even Bloodstarved went down in one shot. I don't know if if he's meant to be easier or harder, but still, I wouldn't have expected like the third time after spending hours in previous runs trying to beat Bloodstarved. If anybody was going to go down first time between the two, I'd have thought it'd have been him. Frenzy Cobbled. I think that's the maximum one I've got so far. Yeah, it is. The two of them. I actually got quite a bit of Cobbled now. Used to gain frenzied blood echoes. This manifestation of badness comes from a mind teetering on the very brink. But, uh, but has a sane mind ever produced anything of true significance? Oh, please leave me be. I thought you wanted help in. Don't take me, please. I'm, I'm, I'm please. not going to take you, last fuck. Settle thy shit. Oh, please leave. Don't. Oh. Okay, okay. Shall I leave her to it? No, actually, let, let's try the dialogue a few times. One more. Ah, well. Tried five times. Adventure game rules say anything more than three attempts at exhausting dialogue is bullshit. And very mean of the developers. Five times, yeah. There's nothing else to be said. You're not an item! You look like an item, but you're not! You're a liar. A lying item. It pretends it's a note, but it's not. It's a fucking item. Be careful running around, man. I ain't heard anything yet, but that doesn't mean shit. Oh! Well, nice reaction, man, but not quite right. There we go. So behind me. Oh, three bloodstone, uh, twin bloodstone shards. That's a full upgrade, is that shit? Oh, 
Oh, it's a bugger. That's gonna be a lot. Oh, all of it. Lovely. Well, fuck, I didn't need that. I didn't need that. Oh my god, did not need that at all. Just wanted some blood bullets and some nice regain, but no. You're not gonna get me. Oh shit! Uh, okay. Fuck no. Huh. Wow. These are not to be underestimated. I think I was right to begin with to try parry him. Not then though. Not then either, that was I knew that was too early. You know what? That'll work out much better. As will the Kirk hammer probably. Need to remember I've got two fucking weapons on me. That's the entire point of the Kirk hammer behind me. If the saw cleaver cat stun them, fuck them, whatever else, it's fucking Kirk hammer time. It's alright, it's only step three. It's a long fucking game and it's only step three and I'm doing alright in my opinion. Completely honest, not bad. Again, in my opinion. As a disclaimer. <laughs> Ooh! Sweet as fuck. Definitely like that shit. Won't go back, but I definitely like it. Look at this cool guy here. Very, very good. I like the symbolism of it as well. You know, the king, or some leader, or whatever, and shit, sat in his chair, but he's got this huge fucking demon perched right over him, probably corrupting his mind and putting all manner of fantastic thoughts in his head. <laughs> I do like that. Right, well, okay. I don't. Whoa! Some kind of Street Fighter 4 Seth like fucking suck in her. Swing, bad miss. That did, though. That did. And now he's a lot quicker and a lot angrier. Nice. That's why you bring along the fuck. Well, that's, that's why I bring along the Kirk camera anyway. Moon. It's a Carol rune, isn't it? Yeah. Um, a transcription of Moon, as spoken by the Great Ones inhabiting the nightmare. Gain more blood echoes. Oh, pretty cool. The Great Ones that inhabit the nightmare are sympathetic in spirit and often answer when called upon. One sec. Yeah, okay, yeah, I was just wondering, it's like... PS4 is, um, being quite loud about himself. I don't think that'll be picking up on micro a but, you know, still. He's working away down here as the... Oh, fuck me! It's the old PS4. Get smashed! You free pebbles! I relinquish you of them. Oh yeah, the pig down here. It's right down these stairs, isn't it? Yeah, I wonder if I can sneak up on him. Oh my god, it's still draining me again. Now it's- now I'm dead. It just flopped on me, you fucking piggy bitch. S fuck. That hurt so much. I mean, I had a feeling it was gonna sting, but I was committed to me fucking heavy attack at that point.
Nice. Good stag at the end, though. Now... Shit. Too early. Nice. Did he just... He, he must have done, like, about 75% of my health for some shit. That fucking hurt. So much. Smart bastard. Ooh, it only just clipped him. Did a little bit of damage, but next to fuck all. Ah, there you go. You can run at me? Oh, wow! Oh, if you miss with that. You see, you might be like, wait, what do you keep doing that for? It's because he, he runs and walks into attacks like that. Uh, regain, please. Oh, okay, I guess that's all I'm getting. Man, enough fucking upgrading materials. Oh, forgot about you. Oh, that thing is awesome. Like I said, I two on quite a lot in Souls games, and um, I kind of want to be parrying as much as I can in this. But I... I do dig the two-handed Kirk hammer. It's fucking sweet. It's getting blood echoes. I think he's seen me. Oh, right on his fucking dumb snout. Fuck your poison. That's not gonna hit. It clipped him a bit. Oh, does it? Does it? Does it really need to fucking stick his whole arm up in there? Does that really need to happen that way? Couldn't it be some frontal visceral attack? Does it really need to go elbow deep in pig anus? Seriously. It's not just me, is it? Surely, like... I can't be the only person that's asked that question. What the f- Oh, fucking hell, did he do some weird teleport? Hey, up! No, puppy! Did everything just all of a sudden scale up in damage, man? Because I got- I got some extra hit points, but it doesn't fucking feel like it at all. Should we go into a transform attack kind of combo? Pretty cool, pretty cool. Very good. Yep. Oh, two upgrade levels to the saw cleaver incoming. I know the Kirkham is doing a better job in this area specifically, but the Saw Cleaver is a bit more universal for me at the moment. <laughs> Have audience with Bloodstone? Yeah, fucking tell me about it, man. Fucking sweet. Uh, okay. Just in case, I remember there being a lot of dogs in this area. Friends of Cobalt? Fuck, get down. What's this? Oh, ladies. Pebbles? Pebbles. That's a fucking old school reference, is that shit? Probably don't need to kill them, they seem kind of passive. Holy shit, six blood vials. Ten quick silver bullets, how- What? I was about to say, how does it get much better than finding six fucking elf vials on ground? And then it dropped ten fucking bullets, which is actually the equivalent... Fuck, shit. Steady on. I think the, um... The six vials are actually worth more echoes than the ten quick silver bullets, but still. That's not in range, that. No. 
Man, I'm doing alright with these. It just seems the safest way of getting them down. Wow. You're not dead? Fuck no, now, mate. It's just a safe way that costs no bullets or resources. No health files, hardly. Fuck. No bullets. Oh, nice carpet fucking swing. My, my back swing, even. Carpet? Like, I mean, he might have carpet in there, but you know. Damn, that's my idea. Why is this? I'm gonna use another health file, man. It might even kill him with, like, that fucking backswing hurt. Give me your shit. Oh, so good. Two fucking upgrades onto my saw cleaver. Oh, what? no, 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 I don't know, actually. It depends on the cost. At least one, anyway. It's the indestructible table. The things they should have built bosses out of. You all gonna stay down there? No, you all gonna get it, won't you? You're, you're about to be dead. Oh, it's it's just a little bit mean, really, isn't it? Like, it was just oh well, I'm in prison. I may as well have a, like a bit of a kip, bit of a kip. Yeah, everybody's all right round here. You know, of all the prisons I could have landed in. Everybody's really nice at this prison. They're very cool and, yeah. No one would ever kill me in my sleep or anything like that. It's actually, of all prisons, this is a good prison to be in. Um. We had music and then... Oh. oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. But yeah, it's a nice prison to be in. You're happy to have been sent there, you know, of all places. And, um... Oh. Yeah, I don't want to actually drop into that motherfucker quite yet. No, 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 fuck that. So that's where he is. But yeah, you're having a pleasant little snooze and suddenly fucking some douchebag of a fucking hunter comes and... ...maced the face. It's not actually a mace, it's a hammer. And it wasn't actually to his face, it was more to the entirety of his fucking upper body. But still, it included bits of his face. Certainly some bits of his face got hit. Hey, what was this? What? From there? And you just go around here? And through that door? And, you know, through the bullshit here and stuff, and then you can just go straight to the fucking boss? Okay. And I came from down there originally, and from up here is where I've been starting. Yeah. Alright. Obviously, I am not going to go attack the boss without banking some souls. And before I go bank some souls, I would like to clear out this area. Purge it. Of anything. And everything. I think I went down there, didn't I? Yeah, I think I went down there. Alright, Keshi. You alright, Dylan? Yeah. She says yes, without saying anything at all. Another pig. And I can wait a sec. I remember this. This fucking stupid leave that I could never get to work right. Behind you in time for falls. I could never operate that fucking lever. I spent like a good 15, 20 minutes scouring the entire area after killing everything. Still couldn't figure it out. He's talking about that statue, Despicable Woman. <laughs> okay. I don't know what she's done, but... Let's get on board. Why would I want to go up to there? Watch the aggro loads of dogs. Wrong weapon for the job. There we 
we go. Not everything requires a roll or a backdash. You know, you can just move out of the way as well. <laughs> as I'm figuring out with the bosses. Like I said, not everything requires to be iframed out of or roll spammed. Enough! Dog! Holy shit! I'm sure the damage on them's gone up. They're either some kind of different breed or what, because they didn't hurt that much in the beginning of the game and have improved my vitality since then. What's the fucking deal? Are they visiting the doll in the hunter's dreams as well? Some pooch just goes over there and you go, yo, I've got like 10,000 souls. Hook me up with some more damage. Wait a minute. I don't know how he didn't hear any of that, but... Good, that's what I wanted. Go! I was saying that dog's not going to show up from me fucking attack. Thankfully, he did. Just in the nick of time. Hyper armor! Very nice. Nice. Oh, more twin bloodstone shards! Tonitrus. I remember that motherfucker. It's actually wicked as fuck. It's like a lightning mace. Unique trick weapon contrived by Archibald, the infamous eccentric of the Healing Church Workshop. Striking this particular, uh, sorry, peculiar iron morning star flail like a match generates the same blue sparks that blanket a dark beast. Unfortunately, for reasons untold, the hunters of Archibald's time did not fully take to the device. It's actually really fucking cool. I thought it were anyway. I mean, what's its kind of stat scaling and shit on it? Hmm. Is it a strength weapon? It's got D strength. Yeah, it's kind of a mix, isn't it? Then again, no worse than I've currently got. I'm looking at the wrong thing for a start, but you know. I'll piss around wait for a little bit. Whoops! That is awesome, man. From what I've been told, there's not a staggering amount of weapons in Bloodborne. But the ones that are in there are wild, man. <laughs> really, really cool as fuck. It's an electric mace, for God's sake. It looks wicked. We had a different attack there at the end, didn't it? Yeah, usually it's like horizontal, horizontal, overhead. Whereas if you go, wait a sec, into a transform attack, transform combo, yeah, it did like a, a, a forward kind of like pierce. I don't think it will be a pierce, but you know. No, no. Miss press out of the ass. Anyway, we've got a pig to deal with. And the hammer's done pretty well against him so far. Only once, motherfucker. Shit! Ow. Get slayed. God, there were 3,000 souls each then. 3,000 souls and two health foils. Quite happy with that. Bolt papers? I don't think I've had any bolt papers so far, just fire paper. Yeah. If any by Archibald, the infamous eccentric of the Healing Church workshop, artificially recreates the blue, uh, blue sparks that are said to surround Dark Beasts. 
Unlike the other strange weapons crafted by Archibald, this one was favoured by many hunters. In particular, those who had once... In particular, those who had even once laid eyes on a dart beast. Obviously impressed by the power and shit, it's like, fuck yeah, you can apply it to a weapon, let's fucking go. So let me just think, I, I checked up there and stuff, checked around here, I still can't operate that fucking lever. Didn't figure it out last time. I've not seen anything to lead me to believe I'll figure it out this time. Remember Hidden Path? Really? Hmm. Can't attack it. Can't use it or anything. Wait a minute. Just, just in case, you can't roll into it? No. Foot nose. Fuck knows. Well, actually, I think I cleared all the way down forward past the first pig. I cleared round here. Can't see anything else at the moment that I might have missed. No. Wait a minute. Oh, no, that's where you come from. In which case, did I ever go down here? Hey, up! Oh. Wow, can that do less damage? Now that did alright. Oh, three of them! I need to go back and fucking upgrade, man. But yeah, you know, I guess I didn't clear everything, I didn't go down here. Oh. It's a shortcut to circumventing them and just coming round the side? Dunno about that. Is that a door there as well? Doesn't open from the side. Well, let me just investigate around a little bit more and then I'll go bank my souls. And then we'll give, um... Lightning Hund. Some attempts. If memory serves, it went down first time, but that was with the assistance of an NPC. And even then, I seem to remember getting really fucking lucky. I can't remember if it did. But it would make sense. Uh, it happens to me every so often. Every blue moon, very rarely. I, I get really fucking jammy. Most times. Most times. But, you know, still. I seem to remember getting really jammy. Like, I had like a pixel of life left or something. I don't know. Oh my god, I almost missed that. Like, the NPC had just died and I should have got hit, but then, I don't know, it... It sounds about right, or I'm probably thinking of another boss, because there's numerous times that's fucking happened where I should have fucking died but didn't. And then get that last hit. But then again, there's numerous fucking times when I should have got the last hit and fucking didn't and died. Anyway. I missed a door around here to open from this left side. Because I was thinking it should have been about here. But it doesn't seem to be. Unless it's that. Hang on. I've already with Bloodstone. Yeah, remember that though. Wait a minute, so did it? Nope! I was thinking I went down there, but I didn't. I went down there. Right. I was thinking like something don't feel right. That's before we even started fighting a boss. We've got poachers, we've got poachers. Seriously? Well, okay then, let's... Give that a try. One shot. Okay, that does pretty good. Madman's knowledge, madman's knowledge, and madman's knowledge. is closed. <gasps> I remember the shit. The black fucking hooded set was lit. I remember it now. I, can't, I didn't even fucking remember about that. There was, this is, yeah, it looks awesome. I, it, it's, it's a hood and an iron helmet combined. Like, that's fucking cool as fuck, man. Iron helmet worn by the hunters of the Unseen Village. 
The hunters of Yahagul answer to the village's founders, the school of Mensis. Hunters in name only, those kidnappers wear their black hoods low to shadow their eyes. This helm is made out of metal, a rarity for hunter garb, and has high defense but only against physical attacks. These kidnappers blend into nightwear and satire, designed primarily to fend from physical attacks. The binding of thick ropes serve to protect his wearer and restrain his foes. Designed primarily to defend from physical attacks. Physical attacks. So what's um, what's the list stats like? If I was to change to say that, I would. Oh wait, wait, see. Gain more physical defense, but lose out on pretty much everything else. But I'd look like a badass. It's gotta be done. I'm, I'm doing it, I don't care. There we go. Yep. Yep, that'll do. I did actually quite like the Hunter set that I was using before, but this this is this is my guy. Really nice. Like, so many different layers of, like, tattered cloth and shit there, and all the bindings, then... It's a fucking hood with an iron helmet inside it. It, it, it don't, I don't need to say any more. I don't need to say any more, that is cool as fuck. Completely forgot about that set. Time for common sense? Well, shit. Don't be fooled. Time for common sense, don't be fooled. Hmm. Well, if I can't open the door and I can't attack it and I can't roll into it. I mean, with all the, the madman's knowledge here and shit, was it saying I need a lot of insight here for, to see something? Time for treasures, wondrous nightmare. I don't know. Maybe I'll come back when I've got some more insight or... I mean, should just use on me insight. I think I've got shit tons of it. I've got like 12 madman's knowledge. And there was a lot of insight there. For what? And then with the notes and shit, I'm a bit like, I don't know. Reminiscent of Hidden Path or Wondrous Sobbing. Yeah, I, uh, I don't think they expected many people to just stand here and look down there, but that is barren as all fuck. That's like Dark Souls 2 fucking architecture is that. <laughs> Take a step forward, despicable fire. Well, there's no need to be mean. But we shall see, we shall see about this. I might come back and see what the deal is. Just say it's just closed. Rather than locked. I, I don't know, I don't know. I'm still not sure why I'm not using the insight, like... But oh, fuck it. How did you get a note up there? Oh, I see. It's all thanks to Quickstep. <laughs> I appreciate that dude, um, putting a note up there. Not really breaking the game, but, you know, like, fucking about with, um, clipping and shit to get on there. Good man. Where am I going? Where am I going? There's nothing up here. Nothing for me. Right then, let's go back to the hunter's dream when I figure out which fucking way I'm going. Here we go. Back to the hunter's dream and bank of shit. Serious fucking upgrade. Are you alive? Well, stop moving! Fucking hell, I'm not asking much. Stop moving! Do some upgrades, bank of souls. And hope for the same luck I had on my last run. In, um, well, I say hope for the same luck. It, it was a fucking great fight, but, you know, I'd rather have a good fight that takes like three or four attempts than just slay the motherfucker. I mean, I, I took down Amelia in one shot, but I wouldn't say with ease as such. It cost me like a lot of vials and stuff, and I wouldn't say I was in mad control, but you know, still. It wasn't easy, but it wasn't hard either. What's my situation like? Oh, I am running low on health files again. And I'm not really that positive on Quicksilver bullets. Fuck me. I'm gonna get that shit sorted out. Any good blood gems to go into shit? 
Nope. How about... I, I know you can fortify this motherfucker. Oh, I got 12 of them? Let's go. Yep. Yep. Holy shit. That was um, quite the jump in damage there. Man, I could even upgrade my fucking Kirk hammer, but I'll save it. I've got halfway towards what I'm assuming. It, usually it's like, you know, you do three ranks under one material, and then three ranks under another material. I, I'm assuming that's how it seems to be going so far, so I'm assuming that's what it's doing. So I need four more, and then that's it for the saw cleaver. Anything new? Not that I can see. They're still the same price, but they're bloody expensive. 5,000 Echoes for half a stack. Youch. In fact, I need my Soul Cleaver back on again. The Torrent Trust was really fucking cool. I might give it another look, but for the moment... What am I doing? For the moment, back to the Soul Cleaver. Uh, yeah. Welcome, what is... I desire to channel my echoes into more vitality. Oh. You know what? That's not bad. Farewell, good hunt. And I've got so much fucking cold blood. Let's use a... Let's use both of these bottom ones. God damn, even the small ones do a lot. Welcome, what is very well let Yeah, just the one just that. In fact, that's perfect. I have 1001 hit points. Perfect. That'll do. I'll save me uh, my cold blood for another time and spend the spillage on two of them. Yeah. I don't need any more pebbles, I'm sure I've got a bazillion. There we go. Anything new to say, Lass? Well, what hunters have told me about oh. the church, about the gods and their love. But do the gods love their creations? I am a doll created by you humans. Would you ever think to love me? Of course. I do love you. Isn't that how you've made me? Hunters oh. have, of course, I do, isn't. She's having a bit of a, um, <laughs> bit of a crisis there, is the old doll. Farewell, good hunt, mate. That's the thing with, like, artificial intelligence and shit as well, isn't it? Like, it's okay giving them AI, but you've got to value it at the same level then, aren't you? Otherwise, it's kind of mean to give something the intelligence to know it's alive and to know of like things like fucking love and hate and everything else but then not value it at the same level as everybody else because it was made by humans. It, it, it's a weird one, isn't it? I tell you what's a weird one, where the fuck am I going back to? Where was my last Church of the Good Chalice? Because it didn't seem like a particularly good place. But I'm, I'm going to... I don't think I've seen that before, I'm going to assume that one. I didn't know if it... What? Cash your mash. Tickling my fucking arm there with your paw. How dare you? How dare you? Now you're a good girl, are you? Who's a good girl? Is that you? I don't know. I don't know. You tickled me elbow just now. I'm not quite sure about that. Where are you going? Are you going back over there? Oh, you're coming back now? You, you, why do you have... I see, you're going over there. No, you're not. You're coming over here. No, you're not. You're stopping halfway, so you're neither going nor coming. Cats, man. Seriously, I'm, I'm gonna... Sweetheart. Sweetheart. There you go. There you go. Good girl. I'm playing now. Oh, I'm now, yeah. Good girl, sweetheart. Right. I've got a boss to slay. Oh, oh, you, oh, you're over there now. Fuck me. I've got a boss to slay, sweetheart. Is this the right place? No, it's not. It's not even remotely the right place. 
How the fuck do you get to that place? There's a lamp? No shit because I got out of there, but where is it? It's the fucking... It, it's not on this one, is it? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this one. No place to work in. Well... I might have gotten awfully... I'm a... I'm a fucking hypogean gal gowl. Fuck. I could barely fucking say it, let alone realise it was there. I would have liked to have taken the Freddy Kane to begin with, go full RP mode with the old timer, but... I was pretty dead set on going the, um, like, saw cleaver and... Strength kind of build for the first time through. Oh, I see, you're upside down now, darling. You can't distract me from Bloodborne, as cute as that is, you can't distract me from that, darling. Is kind of working. What are you doing? What are you doing upside down? Just upside down on her back. Paws wrapped it away in front of her, giving me fucking massive blinks and big ass cat eyes, aren't you? I'll get that back foot. I'm reaching for it. I'm, go I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get that back foot. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, you moved out of range. You're so smart. You're so smart, darling. Too smart for me. I'm playing now. Oh, you see, look, I didn't have a strike. I didn't even mean to do that. That's that's endurance that I, I'm never going to get back, but just did. In case you didn't know that. Right. Good girl, sweetheart. Good girl. It was down here, I believe. I'd like to kill him again, man, because the drop's such fucking good shit, but nah, fuck it. We've got a mission. Um. Yeah? Where did you come from? Hey, people stop screaming! I got screaming in the left channel, I got screaming in the fucking right channel, I got fucking stereo scream! What's this? Where did this come from? Oh, I remember, yeah. Right, okie dokie, yeah, it was all the way through here, wasn't it? Nah, 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 boss run! What the fuck? Get off me, Seth! Pebbles! Out of the way! Right, hopefully it will not follow me. Oh. Right. Good luck to you, fellow hunter. Good luck, dude. I think we're both gonna need it. If I could do emotes, I would totally, um, do an- Ah, ah, fuck. It was gonna be a hunter's rally and everything. I know I did it. I hope he got the morale boost. Summon Defector Antle, that was his name. Yeah, he was such a good companion last time, I'm doing it again. I enjoy his company. He put up at a fucking awesome, awesome fight. Really helped me out last time. And considering I forgot his name, I, I don't like to summon NPCs for bosses. But he's wearing cool gear. He's got a fucking flame. He's got a cool fucking weapon here. He's got a flamethrower gun. He's got awesome fucking tasting armor and shit. And like I say, he helped me out last time. And considering I forgot his name, the least I can do is re-summon him. I owe, I owed him that much. Antle. I owed him that much. Next time I'd play Bloodborne, I'll have to do this guy um, without the assistance of Antle. But for now... That's his name. That beast pal. He's not really a lightning hound, is he? He's something, but I don't know what. Flaming man flaming mantle. I'll get in there, help out. I swear to god. Jesus. That's a lightning AOE, isn't it? You need to be careful. Let's heal. I was until doing shit. Lost half his health. Fuck me. Gotta heal that. Won't be able to regain it in time. Need to get out of the way of that. No, it's still got me. It's gonna get me again. I can't get- Oh my god, that lightning AoE! 
means business. I don't know where to fucking get him. More heals. Oh my god. By the time I catch up to him, he starts lightning a wee. Three attacks from that. Oh, more. Cut in the bitch. Is that a lightning? I think he got staggered there. Look at these skinny ass legs. No. To any of what you were trying to do there. Right. Fuck me. Oh, I didn't like that. Sin. Oh, it's lightning a wing, isn't it? No, it's not. Probably don't want to be here. I'm just trying to get me to where I can, man. I, I don't. Fu oh, both of us, aren't we? Both of us. He's such a skinny bitch. Get your hits in, Antle. I'm so low on endurance there. I'm gonna extend the fucking gun, mate. I was hoping that would stop him from doing his attack. I don't know if it did. Extension. An eye for him. Wow, fucking shockwave lightning. Yeah. I'm sorry, I know, but good job, mate. Good job. Damn that hurt. At least I can get two wheels out of that. Molotov! Yeah, no! Is that, is that actually doing what I think it's doing and stopping him when he goes into that? Man, he's putting down fucking like shockwaves on ground when he does that shit. Come on! Well, shit. It is, isn't it? It's stopping him from doing it. Okay, well that got made a lot easier upon the realisation that once he's going into his lightning AoE, give him a shotgun blast. And it's like, shut the fuck up and stop lightning. And extending the saw cleaver out. Because it overhead. When I was underneath him, this was the theory, and this is how exactly how it fucking worked out. I'm actually quite fucking happy about that. When I was unextended, and I was going underneath him, didn't have the range. I think maybe go- no, not even with charge attack. You know, it, it probably wouldn't have hit. So I was- I wasn't- it is skinny ass bone legs. Which are about as thick as a fucking pencil. And it was- it was a bitch to fucking hit him. He spent like 90% of that fight was at 60 fucking percent plus hit points. And then, it, obviously, it started to fucking think, hey, oh, there must be an easier way of doing this. ba bang And then you didn't even have to hit his legs. You could run underneath him, and that had hit him. That had hit him. That had hit him. So much fucking easier. And then in trying to parry some shit and not being successful, I think I accidentally knocked him out of his lightning AoE, and job fucking done it. So he just stopped. It's like, was that because I hit you a lot at close range, me and Antle, or was it because... A shotgun, yeah, and sure enough, it does seem to be when you shotgun him. Nice. Very, very nice. I give a hunter's salutation to Antle. Thank you once again, my friend. He was very, very useful. He basically let me figure out the fight for like 50, 60% of pals hit points there. He let me figure out like, extend the fucking saw. Use the shotgun and knock him out of his lightning AoE. It fucking became easy then. Piss.
And as I say, because I forgot his name, the least I could do was resummon Antle again and have some fun with him. I think next time I come to fighting Dark Beast Paul, it's going to be Dark Beast fucked. He's have, he'd have no chance next time. Well, I guess it depends what weapon I've got. Soul Cleaver seemed really fucking good for it. I'm not sure if the bonus damage was kicking in there or not, but even still. Was this the big door with all the insight in front of it? No, this was the big door that led to Old Yarnum. Yeah, Blastav Beast area with all the werewolves in town. Yes. Not quite sure why I'd want to be here at the moment, but still. Not bad, not bad. Well, fuck me, two bosses this set. Both one-shotted. I am content with that, content. Amelia was a good fight, and that beast pal could have escalated, but didn't. But it was still a good fight. I think I'm just happy about the fight in general for still figuring stuff out. You know, rather than sitting there and like, well, it's not working with a saw cleaver, I'm, str I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to fucking hit the legs and shit. That's exactly what I sound like. You know, rather than struggle away and die, or struggle away and take forever, I actually adapted, right? Fair enough. Like I say, I'm happy with that fight. Shut down his lightning AoE, stopped having to attack his bone legs. There we go. Adaptation. I desire... A butt tongue of endurance. Oh, fuck me, I can't get that much. I shall get those two points of endurance. I am incredibly low on health vials. And when you consider that it costs about 10k to level up almost now. I think I might get some blood vials before they get too expensive. I think it'd probably be one of the last times I buy blood vials when it's costing that much, but we'll see. I do hope I didn't need to upgrade my my weapon because oh, I've got I've got cold blood you on me. It'd be alright. 27, 33. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. It could be much better, but at least I'm going through the bosses alright at the moment. Nah. Nah. Much more required. I don't have this tool yet, do I? What the fuck have I missed something? I would like a carol rune. So... Oh, yes, yes, yes. I remember. I remember. Graveyard of the Dark Beast. Good fight, pal. Good fight. Um, Cathedral Ward or the Grand Cathedral? Wasn't it Cathedral Ward? Grand Cathedral was Amelia's bit, which I kind of need to be near anywhere. Ah, fuck it. I'll start Cathedral Ward. But yeah, not too surprised to see Pal go down in one. I'm using an NPC. I mean, I wouldn't say I was using an NPC. I just wanted to in that occasion. I remember Antler. It was great. Didn't remember his name, but I do remember him. And he was great yet again. He did his job. He tanked a bit. He let me figure out the fight. Unfortunately, dies because, you know, I was being shit. But, you know, he, he gave me time to figure out how to use the saw cleaver against Dark Beast Pal properly. And my thanks to him. Good man.